All right, guys, welcome back. Today's video, let's talk about Raptorium again, where I'm at, what I'm doing, and which pools I'm using, and how I'm making some passive income off the uh, Raptorium that I do mine. So let's go ahead. What are we looking at here? We are looking at mining pool stats and I clicked on Raptorium and you show you the, this will show you the mining pools and right now as of today which is 13 January 2022 I have been mining to the 011 data mining pool and that has updated okay they're getting better it used to show over here the last found was about six hours ago or so so that's kind of nice that that's updated. So I have, as of today, a few rigs mining 011 data, but I saw this supernova and I said, okay, I get the flag and all, is that France or something? I don't know. I'm, you know, I went to public school. I don't know my world geography and night nations. So there you go. 0.5% uh, pull fee. And I said, let me go check this puppy out. So I went over there and checked that out. And I decided to put a couple rigs on there just for grins and see how well it does. So let's go look at 011 data. So what do I have on there? Here is my 011 data. They're, they're still working their side, I guess. It's, it's, it's okay. It's not perfect. It kind of tells you your hash rate, your total hash rate, your dominance, which is kind of kinky. Uh, worker hash rate history. These are old because I moved most of these rigs off. I have a few rigs on here now still churning. Let me just reload this. I probably haven't reloaded in a while. Uh, that's probably why it is out to date. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. So I'm down to 9.98. And that was, I was running four Ryzen 9 3900Xs and two Ryzen 5s, I think. But this gives you a little chart. So I got half of my rigs on here yet. And as of today, like I said, I moved over to the Supernova. By clicking on that link, it takes you to this page. It's pretty straightforward. You can go anonymous mode, which I did. You can go anonymous mode right here. Or you can set up an account. And it, it's just a little different config when you set up your... Uh, your stratum line, your, uh, your your line in your miner file. I am using XM rig to mine. So that's the rig I use. They recommend something else. They have another one listed, but use whatever you want. It all works, right? So here is a supernova. And this has only been a few hours and I'm already at 21 unconfirmed. I'm gonna tell you, I think this has only been, well, this is show me the time up. Da, 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 da. I am going to say it's been within three hours I've, I've done this. So I'm already at 21.1414 Raptorium, and that is with two Ryzen 9s and a Ryzen 5. I think I split the difference. So I have two Ryzen 9 3900s on the 011 data with a Ryzen 5. And on Supernova, I have the same two Ryzen 9 3900s with a Ryzen 5. Let's see what we got over here. That gives you the difficulty, okay. Real time updates on the graphing, my share rate. So that, that's interesting. I mean, that's a high number. Eh, I, I, after thinking about it, it's comparable to 011 data, about 21. Yeah, about the number of hours, and I'm getting the, I'm getting roughly the same amount of payouts every few hours on 011 data. So let's go back and look at that again. Raptorium. 011 data is fifth. All right, 512. Supernova is 1443. Okay, so if we go look at my wallet, so what I do, I mine to a wallet on Windows right here. So this is the Raptorium core wallet. And what I did, I just set up a second receiving address. And you don't see it here yet, but this receiving address, wallet address, is for the 011 data 
uh, mining pool so when I get paid out it goes here and you can see uh, just for the 12th I got one two three four five so roughly 20 let's take the average 26 26 raptorium per payout and let's see today it's been 21 roughly ever oh they kind of yeah it's it's different obviously with uh, with the time payouts yesterday was pretty consistent on the 12th today is a little blockier it's like 0500 then it goes to 0700 I made some must have been a big bunch of blocks came in or something and then not for maybe another what seven to twelve another five hours I received another 21 so it's 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 consistent sometimes and then other times obviously it's not so taking these numbers it's comparable pretty much comparable to what I am seeing on supernova albeit it's only been four hours so but I'm at 21 so on par I don't know whatever it's hit or it's not it's pick pick the one you want to stick with and just stay with it right so on a supernova they have a US stratum I'm using this one right here I put my wallet address in and go with that and like I said you can set up an account and specify your account information and uh, you get more options when using an account I said eh, you can mine anonymously I'm happy with that just give me some of that raptorium so what I am doing also in addition to mining to this address right here like I said I'll eventually see the supernova payout here and it'll say supernova and it'll be 20 something right so what I'm what I'm doing with this is when I get enough here we go I take my raptorium I mine and I move it over to the inode Z spark nodes and there I can uh, stake it there put, put, put it put it into my holding address they'll move it into a smart node and then I start earning passive income baby yummy passive raptorium rewards that I then compound meaning you can check a box and it gets reinvested back reinvested back into the, the uh, smart node so you just keep compounding and compounding now I haven't withdrawn anything yet let's go look at that you can also mine directly to the uh, inode Z so right here it is here's my inode Z here's my onboarding balance here is my address if you want to send me some raptorium you can use this address right here and put it in your wallet I mean your uh, mining software and have it mine right to that holding address and it works I tested that out my only thing I, I stopped doing that for one reason and I don't know if it's accurate or not is do they keep transactions because I want to be able to keep all the transactions of all my payouts obviously for tax reporting purposes and on here I, I see payments and you can download the payments you received and right now I've not taken any uh, no, well oh I did get a payment but it, it got compounded right and rolled in so you can download your payments in a CSV file which is cool for tax reporting you say hey I got this many yummy raptorium rewards please tax me Uncle Sam please take my money thank you thank you very much may I have another uh, yeah don't get me started on that all right so the reason I stopped that is I want to make sure I'm tracking all the uh, mining raptorium I am receiving and by this I can do that because I, I can export it and I get all the dates and uh, the amounts and the prices and stuff like that and I import that into coin tracking info for tax purposes um, that's why I now mine right to this wallet and I know I hate fees but the my amount of time to, to correct all this stuff if I know Z doesn't report that stuff uh, is worth a couple pennies to then pay the transfer from my uh, Raptorium wallet to inode Z my onboarding address so what I'll do when I get enough yummy Raptorium here is I'll take this and I will send it over to inode Z that address I showed you my onboarding address and then when it's ready it'll take a uh, I know Z will take that balance and add it to one of my smart notes I can see my smart notes here we got three pending that's kind of cool 
So I got 47, 30, not much. A lot of people have billions. I'm a little guy. I'm just new to this. Again, I started this whole crypto mining journey back late September on machines I had in my house, old gaming machines, old laptop. Quickly found out the old laptop just wasn't up to it. It just was not up to that poor guy. Uh, but I use him as a utility laptop now for burning USB sticks and stuff like that. There's always a use for old computers. I want to get rid of them if you don't have to. Just there's a use for them. All right, so there I am. I'm getting uh, almost three rewards pending. I made 14 this so far. And uh, looking good. I kind of like this. I like the fact that I can mine Raptorium, put it in my wallet. I can leave it in my wallet if I want. But now, say I'm going to go uh, put that in my smart node. Say, all right, cool. Move that to inode Z and start getting passive income. It's, it's a win. Uh, it's almost like with BlockFi and Voyager where I have my crypto split split out amongst various places and I'm getting uh, interest on those and rewards especially with Voyager you get a lot of rewards so you're making it depends on what you have you can make a few hundred bucks a month in interest and rewards by having them hold the crypto it's it's a I don't know for having my stuff in a hard wallet for years not doing anything and losing value I said let me just try this and it's worked out great for me I enjoy it I think it's uh, it's added to my Number of coins by compounding. And same with this. I'm just going to keep stacking Raptorium. Is Raptorium going to go anywhere? I don't know. Let's check. Where is the Raptorium at right now? Uh, all right. We're back back at the two cent level. Remember, it was down here to 18, 0 0 0.0192. What's that low one there? 0.185. Yeah, that was the lowest we've seen recently. So again, to me, the CPU mining, the Raptorium mining is kind of the batter on deck. It's stacking coins, stacking Raptorium right now. Uh, and that's where it's at. And once this Ethereum thing switches to proof of stake, will CPU mining be the go-to? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, right now it's Raptorium. I tried Avion. Uh, I mined a few. Problem with Avion, it's not on the exchanges anywhere. So when I imported it into coin tracking, it, had, it thought it was something else, another coin. So I had to go make up my own kind of ticker symbol for Avion and put in the average uh, fair market value of when I got paid out, which is 0 0.0001 cent. It's it's such a minute fraction. But that's the problem with staking. I mean, um, speculative mining is some of the stuff is not out there readily available to be monitored by a tax software and stuff like that and tracking software. So I have a little bit of Avion and said, eh, I went back to Raptorium when I saw the price go up. I figure this one's a better deal right now. So that's where I'm at. I, I'm mining two different pools right now. Just uh, do a bake off, see which one's better. And just first glances, they're pretty much comparable. Yeah, so I'm at 21, waiting for, you know, that's not bad at all for a few hours. And what was the other one again? Oh, 11 data. We are still churning here. Uh, again, the UEs aren't the best, but it works. It does work under the hood. The reason it works is I check my wallet and I see deposits and I'm like, Yahoo, I like deposits. Oh, I just got another payout. Oh, that, sorry, that was I scrolled down. I got a little, I got a little happy there. More Raptorium for me. Now it's still uh, twelve twenty six. I got my twenty one point nine. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm at, guys. Uh, I have not gone back to Flock Pool. I'm stuck on these smaller pools right now. Again, I don't know. I don't really learn unless I try and do it myself. If I sit and watch other people, that's not getting in the game. You got to get in the game try some stuff yourself, like do the inode Z thing, do it for a week or two, and I'm getting stuff, it's working. So, right, I think the next thing is just to keep compounding it and reinvest it back into pool. I don't need a payout. Uh, they are gonna track my payouts for me, which is, all I want is tracking, which is good. I wanna be able to track. So that's a plus. Uh, so inode Z is working with Raptorium. Splitting, uh, going between different mining pools is working which is, like I said, I go to the Raptorium, Supernova's working, and O11 Data's working. I was my I was using Monero Ocean, and I may go back to that once I get enough Raptorium. I don't know, we'll see, because I want to get some of that yummy XMR. I just think that's, that's an up-and-comer, and it's listed. It's pretty high up there if we go over here. Oh, oh, we're red again. We were green yesterday, folks. I'm sorry, it's red again. Must be some, must be some manipulation going on. Again, as I always say, it's a big club, and you ain't in it. You're just along for the ride. All right, let's see. Where is XMR if you see it? 
Oh, come on. It's right in front of my face. I don't see it. Um, blah, 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 USDC. XMR is at 225.21, and it's green. See? Yeah. But I'm going to keep doing Raptorium for a little bit because I like it. I want to get these rewards. I want to beef up. Where's my iNodeZ? I wish I was more organized. Sorry. I want to beef up this uh, balance here. Maybe to get the 10K and then switch it back over to uh, mining Monero Ocean, which also mines. Monero Ocean also mines against the Raptorium pool, the Raptorium. So if you look at this again, this is mining pool stats again. Stream. Here's Monero Ocean stream. And when they have this here, the double arrow, it's a multi-coin multi -coin profit switch. So you click on that, see all the coins they mine. A lot of the coins you probably want to mine, but you don't have enough hardware. You can just go do Monero Stream. It's almost, it is and isn't like an index fund. You're going out and find the best coin for your hardware, your configuration. Boom. And they pay out an XMR. Gotta love it. All right. That's all I got today. Just thought I'd give you a little status on Raptorium since I'm sitting here staring at this stuff. And I went through and changed my uh, uh, CPU mining software to go to the, uh, to the Supernova and just to verify it works. And it does. And like I said, once I get enough coins in my wallet worth moving over, I will move these over to iNode Z and start earning some of that, more of that, some of that, more and some of that uh, passive income. And that's what it's all about, man. You want to make money while you're asleep. That's how people get wealthy. And you want multiple streams of revenue. It, even if you're making 20 bucks on something, keep doing it. As long as it's not a total time, you know, a time suck, just keep doing it, right? Uh, lesson learned in my past. I had a couple hobby businesses. I let them go. I was making decent money. I don't know. I was dumb. You're, you're stupid. You don't realize what you have. If you're making income in anything, just keep it. And you want to have multiple streams of revenue to make yourself cancel proof, you know, fireproof. You know what I mean? So you have something to fall back on or something to shore you up while you're making your salary somewhere or working somewhere for the man, right? Uh, you want to have this stuff underneath you like a foundation that you always have some money coming in and maybe to cover a couple bills if you need to or just to accumulate and stack coins because you know this crypto is going to come back. It's going to come back with a vengeance. It's going to come back super green. That's my new term. Super green crypto. I sound like Bitcoin boy, Ben, whatever. No, but uh, it's going to come back green. It's, I, I, I kind of believe in this stuff and I think as long as the government doesn't mess, up, mess, up, mess with us and screw things up, this could easily go over 100K. All right, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys are mining on your CPUs because, again, I am a newbie. I am i don't know anything, right? I'm just going, going along. I'm learning as I go. I'm figuring things out. I haven't broken any hardware yet, thank God, but I'm figuring things out as I go. If stuff doesn't seem right, I look into it. Why doesn't it seem right? Like 011 data a month or so ago went down, had API errors. Boom, I said, this isn't working for me. Went back to flock pool. Now I'm back on 011 data. They seem to resolve the issues. Uh, stuff like that. You got to you gotta be on this thing. It's not set and forget. And also, if your machines are getting hot, take them out, dust them off, get a little mini vacuum cleaner. I got one of those. I got a little baby mini vacuum cleaner I got free from GameStop. And I got one of those compressed air cans, which I'm still hesitant to use on uh cpus and gpus because it's just compressed cold air i don't know i probably have to get a better machine but i don't want to spend too much money i just want to get those dust bunnies out of the uh heat sinks all right all right guys keep watching the markets let me know what you're doing with this uh, cpu mining like i said i don't know what i don't know and i love to hear from other people what they're mining and go from there all right on that note the ding 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 said time is up all right i'll talk to you later bye